In today's session of Divorce Court, Erica Washington says Shandell's biggest mistake was thinking he could hide his cheating from her. He gave me an STD. I was so afraid for the, the life of my child. They were saying that he could, the baby could die. Your wife is pregnant and you're out having sex with somebody else unprotected and coming home and having sex with your wife? A couple months later after that, I come to find out he had another baby. 17 year old, mind you, having a baby. A minor? Minor. He flew to Texas to be with her while she was giving birth? And she's got proof. You called the woman's house and he was there? She said, hold on. Half an hour later, she comes back on the phone. You held on the phone a half hour? Yes, I was not hanging up that phone. You're a pretty good detective, huh? Today, it's the case of Erica Washington versus Shondell Washington in divorce court. All rise. Court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is a matter of Shondell Washington. Yes, versus Erica Washington. Mr. Washington, I understand that you've been married for five years and you're ready to end this relationship. And yes, you seem a little upset over there. I am, man. What's the matter? The reason is I'm upset because our marriage ended due from her mother. Her mother was the, the so problem true. of our marriage. This is oh, the mother-in-law issue. No, it's not. Calling it. back and forth, running up the phone bill. No. Let him finish. Count, countless, countless trips back and forth. Her mother was spending months, weeks down in Hawaii with us, causing, I mean, she was always in our business. Chantel, it was so constant. Not true. Every time the I turned around, was she, was she was there. I, I felt I was married to the both of them. Felt and you was I, married to mother and daughter? Exactly. And I, I just, I got sick of it. I and felt you didn't neglected. Remember taking yeah, the it was the one. You still ate every it, day. It was nice. It was nice. I went to bed. It was nice. I went to bed. She would still stay up with her mother all night talking to her mother. I, I'm going to bed by myself. I felt I was just being neglected. So that so, caused you to go out and cheat, huh? Your Honor, her mother that was caused always you to go there. And cheat. Always. Your Honor, I was always six there. months pregnant, and he gave me an STD with my son. Six months pregnant. Your Honor, this is what Wait happened. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's Your no Honor, this is what happened. I don't care Washington. what happened, what issue around it. He gave me an STD. I was so afraid for the, the life of my child. They were saying that he could, the baby could die, have brain damage. He didn't. Si your wife is pregnant, carrying your child? Your child. And you're out having sex with somebody else unprotected and coming home and having sex with your wife? It wasn't in intentionally to risk my child's life. Okay, it just... when you got the STD, did you know it? I didn't know. Did you tell her you had had sex with somebody else? No, I didn't. Did you know you were married? Yes, ma'am. Did you know anything about condoms? Yes, ma'am. So why didn't you use them? Wrong point in time, man. Your wife's fault about that too, huh? Because she wasn't there to put it on you? If she would have been there, <laughs> if she would have been there, I wouldn't have been hanging out. If she would have been there, I wouldn't have been hanging yeah, out. Okay, so if she would have been there, you would have been hanging out. But you were hanging out. Now, what stopped you from using the condom? Wrong, wrong place in town. Whose fault is that? My fault. Oh, really? I'm accountable for my mistake. You finally accept that it's your fault. I never, I always risk did. Your, risk your child's life? I didn't risk it. You didn't? I didn't. <sighs> using unprotected sex with another person not knowing whether she had disease or not, knowing that your wife was pregnant and that at some point you were going to go back to her and have sex with her. That wasn't risking your child's life and your wife? At that point in time, I felt it wasn't. You didn't think about it? Exactly. You didn't care? I cared, but I, I cared about she should have stayed with me. That's what I cared So you want to prove a point? Get it back. Get me back. I That's wasn't trying to trying prove to a do. point. I was her husband. I was there when she needed me. I wanted her. You were not there, there when you needed when me. She, when she need, when you I needed her. Need. So since she didn't stay with you, you were going to go out and just let it all hang out, literally, just letting everything hang out. <laughs> it was the role. I, I, that's who I was when I was younger. That's who I he, was. And he was not there for me. He still hung out with his boys until. And Your Honor, I never. What happened hung... after the disease? Did you? I, I, I ended up taking him back. We got back together, and after I had my first. Any son... problems with your child? No, no problems. Thank, thank God. Thank God. And. The, the, uh, I got pregnant four months after I had the first child. So you had the first child and you remained together? You remained together. In the, uh, separated or? No, we were together. We were in but Hawaii. But I'm saying, but was, on your, were you on the same island or were you living somewhere yeah, else? Yeah, we were living we're together. together. We were still together. I forgave him and we worked it out. And then uh, a couple months later after that, I come to find out he had another baby. 
She, he goes to Texas. He goes to Texas. False. Your Honor, he, Wait a borrowed, minute. Hold he on. borrows six hundred dollars. Every time she hits the lazy's bombshells, you have a justification. You say Your now Honor, you find out he has another child, another baby that he had he doing the marriage. He will admit to it till this day. The that baby he had doing the marriage. It's a young, month younger than my my baby. Then your first child, or your my second, second child. child. A Your Honor, she's younger. making this up. He go She's making it up. Your Honor, she's he making goes. This how up. am I making it up? Okay. This is how it happened. She Texas, knows. Hold on a second. Let me hear is, he, let, let me, he borrows Ms. money from a mutual friend. Borrows money. Flies to Texas. He's telling me he's going to Guam, right? So I'm thinking he's going to visit his other friend in the, the Air Force. He says he's going to Guam. He ends up in Texas. Come to find out, he's there with this girl, 17-year-old, mind you, having a baby. A minor? Minor. He flew to Texas to be with her while she was giving birth? Giving birth, Your Honor. We and were her still birth together. Was a month I'm thinking. Before yours. I'm thinking it's it was the day before um, Valentine's Day. This baby is not my baby. It just oh. has the middle name and the it, last name. The same middle name and the same last name. It doesn't have the last name. So I have three kids with my last name. Two boys by her and a daughter by another woman in Pittsburgh. I have no other kids. I have three kids all so together. So this woman that, that she's I accusing you of having for. a baby by a month before hers is not your child. It's not mine. Your Honor, I found Hold letters. On a and you've never had anything to do with this lady. Never. Me you and don't her, know who she is. Me and her were friends. That's uh, it. Your okay. Honor, but your you Honor, never please. had. Hold on, I never had, She was too young. But you I didn't never have had sex, sex with, her. with her. And she's not. This, this is, is not your child. This is not my baby. Your this Honor. is not my. I have three kids. Your Honor, that sounds like and reminds me of Michael Jackson's song. Billie Jean is not my child. Wait a minute, Your Honor. I found letters. That's what it sounds like. I found letters from this woman None of the letters saying said how much I had she loves, how much she loves Chandel, how much she wants to be with Chandel, how much she can't believe that she got involved with the married man this way. I found pictures of the baby. And the woman saying that it's his child? It never said that it I'm was the, his child. I'm the godfather. She told That's why me, she sent me the picture. She told me I told, her, I told her, her this a long time ago. That this was his baby. Now, she wait a told minute, me Mr. out of her own mouth. First of all, it's not unbelievable, and I've heard over and over and over, Men deny once the woman is pregnant and gives birth, that's not my child. Now, you even have more reason. You're married, she's underage, and you claimed you were going to visit friends. It was my friend's baby. I was the godfather. So I was there. So if you're the godfather of this child who's so in, the mother is so in love with you, that's so infatuated by you, hold on a second. She's making this Excuse up. Excuse me, Mr. Infatuated. Washington, let me ask a question. Yes, ma'am. If you're the godfather of a child, why can't your wife know that you're the godfather? I told her this. She don't believe it. When, when did you tell her? After she found the letters? After I found, the, letters, she I found, I found the pictures? I told her the whole time. When no, I went to Texas, she called me in Texas. No, Your Honor, I, the I did whole not time know I about this godfather Hold stuff on, Mr. Until The whole let, let time I was in Texas, uh -huh. I pleaded my case that I'm the godfather. And that was it. So why didn't you call Miss Washington and say, you know what? Mary is pregnant. And John, hold on a second, whoever their names are, these are made up names. <laughs> Mary is pregnant. And John, who's the father, has asked me to be the godfather of the child. I'm so honored. Why I didn't told you tell her your this. Wife that? I told her this when? over and You're, over again. Wait, before or no after the left. birth. I told her this no, girl he was pregnant by my best friend. Okay, uh -huh. you told me that. And that was the truth. And I, I, I lied Did about where her? I was supposed to go, uh -huh. but because I wanted to go see my friends. And she, this, this is the friend sense. she didn't want me to hang out with. Your in best the friend's baby's mom is in love with you and infatuated with you. She's and can't not believe, in love with me. And can't believe that she's involved with the married man. And so that's the that's the note you read. That's the note. The Where'd note you find those I, letters? In my house. When divorce court returns, Erica testifies about catching Shondell at a 17-year-old girlfriend's house. I will call there every five minutes and talk to your parents and tell them that you got a grown 24-year-old man there with three kids, a wife. She was like, hold on, here he goes. Half an hour later, she comes back on the phone. You held on the phone a half hour? Yes, I was not hanging up that phone. That, that... If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. Divorce Court is back in the case of Erica Washington as she testifies about pictures she found of a baby her husband, Shondell, may have had with another woman. Where are the film? I don't know. Ain't I no not film. See, she's making it up. I developed this roll of film. And what did you see on it? Pictures of this baby, the baby still in the hospital in the little cradle with the name band around it. Take that has his name? I couldn't see it. I tried my very hardest to try to see nope. it. But... <laughs>
it, but the lady nope. called you and said that no. this was his baby. I, I made up a lie to try to get the woman to try to tell me some information. So I called, and she's like, yeah, the baby's name is blah, blah, she blah, Shandell Washington. And she said, yes, it is. I said, well, what's the birth date? February 20th something, something or other, which makes it a month older, younger than my son. Well, now, this best friend, that's his best... I had no idea. Hold I'm like, well, let me take He this. says the man, the father of this child that you believe is his, is his best friend. Don't you know the best friend? I know the best friend. Well, so did you ask the best friend? Is he this would not child? let me talk to him. I'm like, well, just let me talk to him. Let me talk to him. And to no, this day, you in, haven't been able to talk there, to the best he's friend? He's in there talking to the girl's mother. Let me talk to him. Prove it she to called. me. Wait a minute. That... And to this day, you haven't been able to talk to the best friend? Never. I and talked how to long the girl, has that been? Probably like... 90, 98, like a year and a A whole year. year. And I you still haven't been able to verify. And if you really care, when you try to prove it, like, okay, I talk to the girl. Over talk, to, talk to my best friend. Over and over Find again, out. I prove it. How did you so prove it? So if you're the godfather you now, did you, go, did you go and have this child christened and take your wife and you... If no, you're the godfather, you're the baby I, I flew like back to Hawaii with her. Kids, my two kids since July. Because she said he I has can't not see him. See, why did I say you cannot see him? Because you're not taking care of him. You're walking around with new Your tennis Honor, shoes I, play, I have to struggle every day. I pay child day. support. No, you, I, wait, child support. Hold it. I we pay get, child support. Oh, oh. We get you pay $33 in child Mrs. support. Mrs. Washington, hold on. We moved to another subject already. You all are really fired up today. <laughs> Mr. Washington, <laughs> your justification for this go telling the lie that you were going to Pittsburgh to see a friend Guam. As opposed to, I mean, saying you were going to Guam and you were going to Pittsburgh, that's because she left you again. Is that what you're saying? No, I felt since she left, I can go somewhere. I was so this why was did my you chance. have to lie and say that you... Because she, she would, I, I would have had an argument with Wait a minute, but she's her. all the way across the country it in another matter. state. So she's, why do you have to lie? Because she still argues with me. I don't like okay, to argue. Okay, so she argues, but you're going to get on the plane and go anyway. Exactly. If she can go home, I feel I can go somewhere. So then why you couldn't tell her exactly where you were going? I told her when she called me. That you were going to Pittsburgh to see a friend? Texas to see a friend. Did you tell her what friend you were going to see? Yes, ma'am. He did not tell me that. I found all this out on my own, Your Honor. I told her when she called me. Oh, when she called you and caught you in Texas? House, yeah. When she yeah. called me in Texas. And I... she ca you called him at the woman's house? <sighs> Is he that what so you're saying? He used the same travel agent that I used. I called the phone company, got the number, because this phone number, he talked about the phone bills, how much I called my mom. He raised the phone bill $300. Wait, wait, just tell me about it. You called the woman's house and he was there? I said, can I speak to Shandell? She said, hold on. <laughs> she said, hold on. Then a half an hour later, So she, she wasn't hiding the fact she, that I was there. Because she, she's stupid. Yo, she's 17. She don't know no there. better. I but was Mr. There. Washington, wait a minute. I was the godfather. Why? Mr. Washington, why, why do you have to lie to your wife? He had exactly. To I could have told her, don't tell nobody I'm here. No, no, no. But she's saying that she didn't tell... The woman didn't tell her you were there. She, she played detective. Yeah, and did a little but she called. But she's in Pittsburgh. Yeah. I'm in Texas. I could have said, "Don't tell nobody I'm here." You know what? And they you could have said that. But you know what? That woman would do. She did. Don't, that woman wanted her to know that you were there. Exactly. Your Honor, because really she was not there. There was nothing to hide. There Your was Honor. nothing to hide. Your Honor, she came back on the phone. He's not here. <laughs> she, she came just back said, on the hold phone. On. A she half an hour said, later, after she said, "Hold on," she said, "Hold on." She said, "Hold on." Here he is. She said, "Hold on." Half an hour later, she comes back on the phone. You held on the phone a half hour. Yes, I was not hanging up that phone. That. She said, um, she said, he's not here. I said, you know what? I will call there every five minutes until I talk to your parents, because I know she was only 17. I said, I will call there every five minutes and talk to your parents and tell them that you got a grown 24-year-old man there with three kids, a wife. She was like, hold on, here he goes. Oh, oh, then she gave me the phone. Then she handed me the phone. She had enough then sense. She, she handed made, me the phone. She, she had herself. enough sense that she wasn't going to get she in the middle of this. She wasn't going to get her... What are you doing messing with a, a minor? I wasn't... I was Honor, there. I was he, the godfather. My, me and my wrong. friend was there. That's why she gave me the phone. He had no a half an hour later. Mr. I got Baby, on the phone. I said hello. Mr. Washington, so then explain, since you're the godfather, her naming this child after you. She that's a lie, the, too. The baby she told is me not a lie. named after me. So she's making not, this up. So your wife is lying. Yes, she's lying. <laughs> All right, move on. Because you're not going to tell the truth. What can I do for you? Because I'm Honor, tired of hearing this. Your Honor, um... Last Christmas, I didn't get anything for my children for Christmas from him. He had a job. He says he was paying a car note, the, our joint car that he decided that he was going to take. He um, did not even get him a small toy like that, Your Honor. And this Christmas, I want my kids to have a better Christmas than I would like, like $300 to help me get my Christmas stuff together. That just for the goes children? For the children. Yeah. But it's your fault that they don't have anything. Didn't you know that? Yeah, it's my fault. Everything's my fault, Your Honor. Everything's my Mr. fault. Mr. Washington? He's yeah. walking around with Your new Honor. tennis shoes on. 
Your honor. New. New food. This is from now. I struggle this every right day this, this was to last get year. my kids new no, pairs of shoes. No, she's saying this year she wants $350, 300 or 350 300 What can you do for your children for Christmas? Whatever I can. If I find a job, I'll, I'll give them a Christmas present. And if, if you I don't, don't you have the money, I can't do present. anything. Again, so a whole year. And anything you still else? Not... If I can't find a job, mm -hmm. I can't do anything for them. Well, you know what? You want to tell me anything else, Ms. Washington? Your Honor, first of all, he has a job. Because I just went back to apply to get the money to, from the courts again to get, start taking it out of his check to attach his wages. I don't have a I job. Called his job. A, I called his job Monday. I said, does a Shandell Washington work there? She said, yes, he does. I said, okay, thank you. You're a pretty good detective, huh? Yes, Inspector Gadget. When divorce court returns, the judge renders her verdict and an update on the case of Terry Tillman versus Ralph Tillman. I bought everything for this baby. I was devastated. I was hurt so bad. Well, the baby is biracial. It is not his. Divorce court is back and the verdict is in. In the case of Erica Washington, who says while she was pregnant, her husband Shondell had an affair with a 17-year-old. All right, now here it is, Mr. Washington. All I've heard from you today, most of the things that has happened in your life, you have shifted the blame and you have put it on other people and made excuses for your failures to do what you're supposed to do and to take complete control of your life, right? You don't need any more babies, especially if you're not working regularly and you already have three and maybe four. We'll find out later. But Christmas is coming. And your goose is not getting fat, it's getting thinner. So I gotta have to give you an incentive. And this is the incentive, $500 to Mrs. Washington for the sake of the children in the next month. Whoever, I don't care. If you can have clothes and shoes and be supported, so can these children. Your problem, you figure it out how you get it. If you don't, you're facing contempt of court. That's the order of the court. And I know, I have not a doubt in my mind that you can come up with $500 if you so choose to do so and if you work hard at it. That's the order of the court. Court's adjourned. Thank you, Your Honor. All rise. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Terry Tillman versus Ralph Tillman. You were only thinking about your instant gratification when you were laying up there feeling good in your body. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. And now for an update on a previous case in divorce court. Ralph Tillman said he was on top of the world when his wife Terry finally got pregnant. But after the baby was born, Terry told Ralph he was not the baby's father. Well, the baby is biracial, it's not his. I bought everything for this baby. I was devastated, I was hurt so bad that I cried for days. So how long did you think you could carry out this deception? It was hard for me. Oh, spare me, hard for you. If she'd have had an uh, affair with a, a white person, I'd have never even known. I know she would never even told me this. Oh, so it's the biracial part that's causing you the problem? No, it's not that. It's the problem that there's a low life out there not taking care of his child. You deceived the child's father because you didn't tell him, obviously, he knew. either. He knew. You were only thinking about your instant gratification when you were laying up there feeling good in your body. Ralph wanted Terry to pay him the money he spent on the baby. The judge ordered Terry to pay Ralph $1,200. Even though a paternity test confirmed that Ralph is not the baby's father, he is still helping Terry support her son. Terry filed for child support from the baby's biological father, but has not had any contact with him. The verdict was very good. I'm very pleased with the judge. She gave me more than what I asked for because she found that he does just make excuses for himself. It's all about money with her. She, she refused to let me see my kids. I will try to work on him seeing the children. If he tries to see them on a regular basis, he can see the children. I don't think I'll marry again. It will take a whole heck of a lot for me to get married again.